the people on the internet that think we just started our summer vacation three months early and we're sitting at home doing absolutely nothing. Good morning, people of the internet. It is Tuesday, my day off from Walmart, and I have been looking forward to this day for a long time. And honestly, during quarantine, there's not much to look forward to. My boyfriend and I decided that tonight, Tuesday night, that we were gonna go get Dairy Queen for dinner, and I'm gonna get the new uh, Frosted Circus Cookie Blizzard, which I love a good Frosted Circus Cookie in general. Add it into a blizzard, and oh my gosh, that just sounds divine. And I showed you in a prior video, that my boyfriend got me a 4D Harry Potter puzzle. So when the teacher day is done, we're gonna do that too. A little Harry Potter puzzle, a little Dairy Queen for dinner. It's gonna be a great day. It's a little after 11 now, headed off to get some Subway for lunch for the lunch break life of the teacher. So today is teacher appreciation day and I know actually a lot of teachers, it kind of varies whether they feel appreciated or not. You've either got the parents who are fully on board and they're just so thankful that we're trying our best to promote learning during this difficult time or you have the people on the internet that think we just started our summer vacation three months early and we're sitting at home doing absolutely nothing. I can assure you that we are all very busy humans that have things that we are doing to help our students. We are not sitting at home doing nothing. Honestly, it's harder teaching over the internet than it is just being there in person to help the kids, especially from a special education standpoint. But we are headed to Subway. We're gonna get some lunch. Um, normally teacher appreciation lunch would be this grand potluck put on by the PTO because the PTO at our school is fantastic. But instead, we'll get a little Subway. I was really craving a sandwich today and I opened the fridge all excited. And then I realized I threw out the lettuce yesterday and I did not buy any new lettuce. Select a menu. Did we get some mail? Yeah, what, what do you think it is? Oh, I think it's Francesca's too. What do you think, should we open it? We should open it? Okay, let's do it. So literally in the time that it took me to go to Subway and come back, the mailman came. How exciting. Let's open this up. It was supposed to come tomorrow, so Tuesday just got better. Okay, so Francesca's haul. Quick, let's do it. Thank you for your patience. We hope this package makes your day a little brighter. It did. Wishing you and your loved ones good health and happiness. Love, Francesca. So we got some paper. Cheyenne loves some good paper. First, I love how Francesca's wraps them up so cute because then you don't actually know what's in it. I mean, granted, I order it, so I know what's in it. See, I told you, she loves paper. So, I've wanted this for a long, long time, but I never wanted to pay the full price. I love my cups. It says, have a nice day, it's a rainbow, it's a mason jar style, and it's got the confetti that falls. It's the best of all my favorite things. Um, maybe there's a receipt in the bottom and I'll tell you how much everything cost. Otherwise, I really don't remember, except for I've been wanting a lot of these things for a long time. Okay, tie-dye is all the rage right now. So this says that originally priced, this was $34. It's, um, but it's just, a little hooded crop sweater. I'm very into the tie dye right now. I'm very into the cropped things and sweaters in general because it's comfy weather season. What do you think, Cheyenne? Yeah, you're happy, aren't you? Another clothing item. This was one of those things where I was like, okay, I need like 10 more dollars to help free shipping. What else can I find? I don't envision myself dressing up anytime soon, but when we do, just a cute little dress, perfect for picture day, except um, I got a bit of a peekaboo back right there. So we'd have to wear a cardigan, but luckily I have lots of cardigans. And then the very last item, I've been looking for a purse for summer for a long time. My current purse is a purse I've had for a while. And I thought this is just very beachy, very cute, match a lot of beach related items. I mean, you could wear it with this, but this is almost too fancy and this is almost too beachy. But yeah, if you're going to the beach for a day or nice tropical vacation, I got a new bag to wear. 
and there is a little receipt in the bottom. So I paid, so I paid $6 for the cup, 25 for the dress, 30 for the purse. I wanted that purse. And then 20 for the hoodie thing. You ready to eat some lunch, Cheyenne? You ready to eat some lunch? Yeah, me too. So, so far today I was on the second grade class meeting and, and then I also participated in one for fourth grade where they were talking about the books that they finished up for their guided reading rotations. And now I have a meeting at two o'clock and then after that we will be done and ready for Harry Potter time. But I don't necessarily have anything to do at this exact moment in time. I've submitted an IEP, Individualized Education Plan, and an EE1, which is their environmental code. So I submitted all the paperwork I needed for a student. I'm kind of playing email tag with some people to figure out my last IEP of the year, just to figure out when we want to do it time-wise, what day, and of course, over the internet. So that's interesting. So I'm going to open up my Harry Potter puzzle and just kind of see what it's like, because I've never done a 4D puzzle before. Here we have the lovely Harry Potter puzzle. We're just going to open this up real quick. Lots and lots of little, little pieces. Right here, we've got Hogwarts Castle. It kind of reminds me of Disney Monopoly, if you've ever played that. Instead of having hotels and cottages, they have little castles and houses, and that's kind of what this reminds me of. And we've got the little Hogwarts Express, Quidditch. Um, stuff. I'm assuming it's to help you attach the stuff to the main puzzle board piece. And then we've got puzzle pieces, puzzle pieces, more weird looking things. And then we've got Harry Potter, the Wizarding World instructions. Beautiful Harry Potter's face. Let's put this thing together. So we've got everything separated. This is all the random. We've got pieces with rulers, pieces with brown trees, little brown squiggly things that go in the corner, the snow, plain brown, water, end pieces. And obviously we'll do the random pieces last because it's pretty easy to be like, oh, hey, look, a dragon. Hmm, where on the picture do I see the dragon? But our meeting is gonna start really quick. I expect it will last an hour, so we should make some nice coffee in our brand new rainbow mug. Let's do it. This ice tray, this cup, what a combination. <laughs> Have a nice day. First meeting and coffee, then puzzle, then Dairy Queen. Can't wait. Let's do this. So we've got the outline done watching Laura DIY. Um, I started with some of like the crest just because I saw the pieces in my pile of random junk. And I was like, oh, Lion Gryffindor. So I started with that. But we're going to do these ruler pieces. I just hate how dirty puzzles are. Like all this little cardboardy stuff is all over the table that I just cleaned. So that's great. So yeah, so we're going to do the ruler pieces and do some of the brown if it becomes obvious, but it should be the ruler pieces just going all around kind of like the border again. Woo! We got the ruler part done. Just got to find the Hufflepuff ruler part that's in the junk pile. Um, I'm going to do the brown pieces next. Look at this beautiful progress. We've got a lot done. Now we're going to dairy. We get up to the window where you get your food and I asked them when they were gonna get animal cookie back and they said, oh, actually we have it. So I ate a mini of the animal cookie, but I have the medium of the s'more that I ordered because by the time we got up to the window, they'd already made it, but I came for animal cookie. So I was getting animal cookie. Cool. So we got the chicken, we got the toast, and we got onion rings. Dairy Queen has the best onion rings. Totally underrated. It is almost 8. This is what we got going on. I got really distracted over here with the junk pile, and you can see that it's really started to fill in with a lot of the unnecessary things that I said I wasn't starting with. Like the Quidditch, Guap, Forbidden Forest, all sorts of stuff. 
little Mr. Dragon over here. My reminder to get my drink from Walmart that I still forgot. We're gonna do the snow next and then we will do the water and then we will finish. Because in the directions, it recommends that you use puzzle glue before you do any of the 3D puzzle nonsense. Yes, there's more puzzle to come. We wanna have this done tonight so that we can glue it and continue on. Okay, 9.30 now. This is how the puzzle's going. Remember how I said I was gonna do the snow? Well, that was hard. So I started doing everything but the snow. We should be done pretty soon and then we'll put the puzzle glue on. I'm just starting to eat my second Dairy Queen blizzard. I basically, I ate the circus animal blizzard on the way home, then got home, ate my chicken tenders and my onion rings, and then was too full to eat the second blizzard, so I stuck it in the freezer. But now I'm just kind of waiting for it to melt a little bit because it's, you know, still a little bit frozen. It's 10 o'clock. We've finished the beautiful Harry Potter puzzle, kind of, just the normal puzzle. We're going to stick some puzzle glue on, and then tomorrow we will do the 3D aspects. And I guess I'll read the directions tonight. We're using a glove left over from tie-dyeing. That part. Now tomorrow we have to assemble all of the thingies and by thingies i mean this interesting a eh? interesting Need